Carb and Tanzania work in the Yaida Valley with the Hadza tribe to protect their traditional rangelands, areas that are important wildlife corridors for threatened elephant, lion and cheetah populations. The work is implementing combined land use strategies and conservation programs. These are financed by selling holistic carbon credits to local and international buyers, enabling them to balance their carbon footprints. The Hadza tribe have been part of this landscape in northern Tanzania for tens of thousands of years. They are first people and, like the Bushmen of the Kalahari, are amongst the few remaining hunter-gatherer peoples. Carbon Tanzania was founded by Mark Baker, not only to protect the Hadza lands and their ecosystems, but also to provide a model program for viable and sustainable forest management. What um, Carbon Tanzania does is measure the above ground carbon in the forest that's protected for the Hadzabe and also work with the process of deforestation to um, put money into the community to realize the value of this forest that the Hadzabe want to protect but in many ways lack the ability or the means to protect it. Currently if the deforestation rate continues the Hadza are likely to lose their forest, their way of life and their land in 25 years. In the past three decades, the last of the first, the 1,000 or so Hadza, have faced massive change from surrounding population pressure, large-scale conversion to agriculture and land incursions by cattle herding people. And vital to these hunter-gatherers, wild game numbers have declined from illegal poaching. A lot of the people who are coming into this area are desperate for land. The, the issues surrounding climate change and climate instability in this region mean that more and more people are failing with agriculture. The Hadzabi have secured legal title to their land and with Carbon Tanzania they've implemented a results-based program of verifiable conservation activities. What Carbon is doing is providing an alternative land use choice that is very compatible with the Hadzabe way of life. Carbon Tanzania works to strengthen the legal land rights of the Hadza, enforcing land use plans at both village and government level. The first step um, for the project was a land use plan that was created by the Hadza people. The plan was really made over several years and, and taken into account all of the environmental factors within this area and all the different people that need to utilize it to survive. And what they did was designate areas. One of these areas is for farming, one area is for pastoralists or cattle, and another area that is protected for the use of Hadzabe. Mark works together with project leaders from the Hadza tribe like Pili. They organise teams to patrol the area, preventing illegal tree cutting and habitat destruction. Carbon Tanzania is um, paying through a system of carbon credits to protect this forest along with the Wahadzabi. We measured the carbon inside the protected area and then we link that with businesses who want to offset or balance their emissions and we put the money into the community to help the community prevent the deforestation. Tropical woodlands and forests play an important role in regulating atmospheric carbon dioxide levels. And because most emissions in tropical countries are coming from deforestation and degradation, preventing habitat loss has an impact at a global level. In simple terms, a hectare of um, acacia comifera woodland, the carbon stored in these trees is 45 flights from Europe to Tanzania return. The revenue from carbon offset purchases is used to fund the Hadza patrols, but the money is also used to provide access to healthcare and education. This project therefore provides an example of how communities can create value from sustainably managing their land. It gives people an alternative land use choice. It gives people a chance to earn an income but at the same time um, managed 
their land use in a way that's beneficial to wildlife, and beneficial to the environment, and of course, an environment in this context is absorbing and holding carbon emissions, so is part of a global movement to mitigate climate change. Working together with Carbon Tanzania, the Hadza are an early human culture working with innovative conservation to protect forests in the modern world.